200,000 slaves escaped to freedom. They traveled on what was known as the Underground Railroad. And the Underground Railroad was not a train station. It was a location of houses, caves, different places where people met in secret so that they could help people who looked like me, who looked like you, get to freedom. Did you like that story? You can find this book at the library. Storyteller, ears wide open, and let's do it, okay? You know how to snap? If you know how to snap, snap with me. A long time ago, and a long way from here, a farmer went out to his farm. This story comes to us from a country called Ghana in West Africa. The people who first told it were called the Ashanti. A farmer went out to his farm to dig some yams. You know what yams are? Who knows what yams are? What are sweet potatoes to take to market to sell? But whoa. While that farmer was out in his field digging the yams, yeah. all of a sudden, the yams started to talk, talk, talk. The yams started to talk, talk, talk. And the yam looked up at the farmer and said, Wait! Well, huh, at last you come around. Why, well, never once before did you come to water me, weed me, or feed me. And now you show up with that digging stick. You, you better leave me alone. <laughs> well, when the farmer heard that, the farmer looked around to see who it was that was talking to him. And all, all he saw was his old cow. And she was just chewing her cud. Now the farmer didn't see anybody else, so the farmer said to the cow, said, did you say something? But the cow just kept on <laughs> chewing her cud. Now the farmer's cow didn't have anything to say, but not very far away, there sat the farmer's dog, and all of a sudden the dog started to. The dog started to. And the dog said, hey. <laughs> it wasn't that cow that spoke to you with your yeah, but he said, you better leave him alone. <laughs> well, when the farmer heard that, they made the farmer mad. You know why? You know why they made the farmer mad? He didn't like his dog's tone of voice. Besides that, his dog had never spoken to him before. So the farmer went up to cut the branch off the tree so he could switch that dog. But then the tree started to. And the tree said, put that branch down. So the farmer went to put the branch down. But then the branch started to. And the branch said, put me down gently. So the farmer put it gently on the stone. And then the stone started to. And the stone said, get that thing off me. When the farmer heard that, that did it for the farmer. He threw down his digging stick, and the farmer started too. Right, right, right. The farmer ran. 